Today's video is all about your creative prompts, the ones plucked right from the comment section of my videos. You may not have time to read all the comments, but I do. There's a mix of the random, the artistic, and the downright imaginative. I guarantee there's a prompt here that will kick your creativity into high gear. In the ever-evolving world of AI, we are all learners, and these are the prompts that got me excited. Today we're journeying through mid-journey, but the spirit of these prompts is universal, sparking creativity across platforms. Let's start with the award for the best use of the word punk. Blend styles, blur boundaries, and redefine punk in AI art. Mechanical clocks meet steampunk and mechanical realism. Use it in a cool prompt suggested by Christopher Winnen8701, and you've got a fantastical machine with a robotic skull and just a touch of the Terminator. But Christopher isn't done. We've got some great creative prompts to try. From miniatures in a fantasy world, to a living fossil in a historical fusion of organic robots. Though I do get quite a lot of caps when I prompt this, which just shows how unpredictable the AI can be. And now for a mix of fantasy, color, and Roger Dean inspired sculpture. These images have intricate natural shapes and architectural details. And some of my favorite images ever came from prompts based on this image. The Describe tool in Midjourney morphs your favorite images into ever more complex images. And finally, a bit of graphic design with a hint of dark gothic pen and ink poster inspired by Madame Talbot. A big shout out to Christopher Winnen8701 for the terrific prompts. But we're not done yet. Let's dive into some Scott Mantooth's 8785's Brain Children. Here are a couple that I absolutely adore. Dystopian whimsy. It's a fun toss-up. One time you'll get more of a dystopian vibe, the next you might lean more towards whimsy. It's a game of chance. And what about steampunk with a medieval twist? Or maybe try a mesh of opposites, combining caves and cities, dark clouds and butterflies for an interesting cityscape. And if the word salad isn't enough, Heavy Metal Dude 420 reminds us to use random symbols in our prompts for weird and crazy effects. I've put the prompts in the description for you to copy, but just ask ChatGPT to create a row of random symbols. And I totally miss the whole Loab woman in the days of the early AI image generators, but she was a thing. This creepy lady is no longer hanging out in the AI, but you might get an interesting image by prompting for her. I checked a couple of the other AI image generators, and she seems gone for good. But turn on a bit of weird in mid-journey and you've got something crazy. If you enjoy these videos and find them inspiring, Please show your support by clicking the super thanks button below and buying me a coffee. It's a simple and meaningful way to support this channel and share some love. Your contribution helps me keep creating valuable content for you. And this viewer has a bit of a twist on a foreign language prompt. Try prompting in Klingon. And yes, there's a translator for that. Though the AI doesn't seem to speak Klingon, the results are seriously unexpected. And this viewer gets the best quote award, too. If you want some made-up words, John from Berkeley reminds us we can ask ChatGPT for some ideas. So I took John's suggestion and asked ChatGPT for some made-up words that sounded Hawaiian. And I got some amazing results. Choose your own language, maybe even Klingon. Vexler was one of my favorite results. Now you have a bunch of nonsense words to explore. And this viewer came up with a terrific random image prompt. Try prompting in Morse code. Really, it works. 
The random prompts may just be tapping into the AI's underlying style, but it still makes interesting, and sometimes disturbing, images. Shanghai Martin has a few other suggestions. Let's see what happens with his nonsense word and a whole bunch of different parameters. So many looks, one nonsense word. V5.2 may be my favorite, but I do like the weird 1000 look too. And this prompt is surprisingly useful for creating a wide variety of images. At first, I thought the comment was a joke until I tried the prompt. I love it when viewers have a twist on an AI art style that I've included in one of my videos. Scott Mantooth8785 expanded on the idea of encaustic painting to make maps. Let's try a mashup of a couple of his suggestions. They don't all come out looking like maps, but they all have interesting textures. You can see more art prompts in the video, 20 art terms you should be using in mid-journey. Samit Digital Art suggests a few styles I hadn't tried. I love fractals, and now I adore Mandelbrot sets. They're not mathematically correct, but the prompt does create colorful, intricate patterns. And let's try Triphobia Art with the suggested Lovecraftian Gothic Horror. And while you're at it, prompt for any phobia, and you're going to get some disturbing images, with or without the horror. And here's a prompt I picked up from Claire Edits123 on threads. Just keep re-rolling and re-rolling for some very odd images. You're asking the AI to go mad, and it rarely disappoints. Follow me on threads at jen at wit's end. You can really prompt anything. The AI interprets your prompt in wild and crazy ways, mixing styles or pulling something from a random syntactic void. As Jerry Jacques GPS notes, I can even type making the photo and the AI will make me a photo. Let us know your favorite prompts in the comments below. They may show up in a future video. Smash some words together and don't worry about them making sense. Toss your word salad into the AI. You'll probably make something Amazing. <laughs>